Hi, my name's Natalie. I've been at the hair business for two years and I've been with ISA for the past 18 months with hairdressing. My name's Nathan Oakley. I'm 21 years old and I'm an apprentice tra training to be a hairdresser. I got into hairdressing, um, well, I was inspired by my mum really, but first of all I wanted to be a vet, so I went on work experience uh, for a week in a vet. And that went okay, and then I came to the hair business for a week as well, and I loved it. Every, every day was different, and it was really nice to learn new things, meet new people, and to be the real world, really. Well, I got into hairdressing because I was always playing with my own hair, and if I wasn't doing my own hair, I was doing my brothers or my sisters. I always liked to keep up with the trends. I was always wanting to take that new style to school, and I just loved the whole fact of being amongst it all. Uh, my first week was really nerve-wracking. And I thought, because I was really shy when I started, and I thought I'm never going to be able to speak to other people. And but everyone made me feel really comfortable, and they showed me around. And learning new things again was what I really liked and enjoyed. So it was like a challenge. My first week of hairdressing, what can I say? It was an experience. I loved every minute of it, and from that week on, I knew I wanted to do what I'm doing now. Well, my qualification in hairdressing is MBQ Level Two, and that involves basic hairdressing, all the basics and I'm currently coming to, towards the end of that and hopefully I'll have more experience on the floor once I've qualified and I'd like to do my level three which is more of more creative and more colour corrections and more involved in the other side of hairdressing with like creativity as well. Well I'm qualified uh, in my MVQ2 of hairdressing and eventually I'd like to hope to go on to my MVQ3, which is advanced hairdressing. What I like best about hairdressing is going home and knowing you've made someone else feel really good of themselves. And I like learning new things, I feel that every day is a challenge, and I like challenges. But the, sometimes the downside of hairdressing is that it's really hard. It is hard, it's hard work, it's on your feet all day, but like I said, it, really enjoy it and it's really nice to make other, feel pe other people feel good as well as yourself. The best thing about hairdressing for me is that you're always learning new things. There's always new trends to keep up with and I like the fact you can change someone's image and make them people, them people feel so much better with themselves. Interact with new people, meet the new people, just everything down to hairdressing I love. The worst thing of hairdressing, I can't really think of any off the top of my head. Everyone gets their bad days and their good days but I enjoy coming to work, and if you enjoy coming to work, then you're going to enjoy your job. Lots of people think uh, hairdressing and being an apprentice is just making tea and coffee and everything like that, and from sweeping floors, but you have to start from somewhere. And the best thing is that you're working in an environment where you can watch and learn, and that's the main thing you've got to do, because if you don't watch and learn, you're not going to pick up on the skills and the trends and everything like that. I've been supported by my boss really well. She always wants the best for us and she sent us on courses into London which is an amazing opportunity for us. Like, training does take a while but it's all worth it in the end. I was very lucky with my support because I gained a scholarship to a privately run academy which they covered my fees for. I didn't particularly want to go to college to study it because it takes two years type of thing and I found that in this academy I had more one-to-one -one training and I found it a lot better. If someone wants to come into hairdressing I'd advise them to be really really positive that they wanted to do it. They need to be, you know, that they're, you know, creative and that they understand that it is long hours, you're on your feet all day and it's, it is nice to make other few people feel good and make you feel good and learn new things and it's nice to bring out the creative side of you. I'd advise anybody to go into hairdressing, it's such a good career and, you know, some people think that you may get stick for being a male in the hairdressing industry but it is, as you can look at the top of the game, the majority of them are all top male hairstylists and look at them all, they've all made great successful careers for themselves and hopefully that'll be me in the next couple of years' time. <laughs>